This life is tearing me apart. This life is tearing me apart. This is Lanny Poffel, formerly the genius for the glory and renown. I really Let me am. tell you something, brother. You guy, brother, <laughs> what you gonna do? Okay, I'm going to come out of the closet right now. I am bisexual. I'm 64 years old, and if I want it, I have to buy it. Randy, read that line. He says, Ooh, you are watching the number one station in Hawaii. Ooh, yeah. I went. Bingo. <laughs> that sounds like money. But on the days that I don't have to do anything, I do nothing. Okay? I believe of 10 hours of sleep, followed by 14 hours of relaxation every and single day. Me up. <laughs> happy just being me. I call myself Leaping Lanny. I validate what I say to every single wrestling fan who's watching USA. Yes, I believe in miracles as God has blessed this great land. I believe the referee will soon be raising my hand. And then after we go to a commercial that black... Awesome. Oh, hold on. I got to applaud that, oh, man. Holy cow. Well, who's next? That's oh, all I got to say. Yeah. And that's why... Treat everybody like it's their last day. Yeah. And um, be kind. And if you have some nice thing to say, say it now. You won't have a chance tomorrow. Well, I love you, brother. Thank you for I coming I love you on. guys. Thank you for coming I, I love you guys. And uh, thank you. we're going to be, well, I mean, we're going to be friends. And uh, I love your show. And thank every you. wrestling fan should listen. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestling broadcast, Monty and the Pharaoh on a very somber Thursday night at the board. Jared, how are you, my friend? I'm doing. I'm doing good. How are you? Good to see you as always. Great seeing you guys. Pharaoh, former wrestler Lanny Poffo, passes away at the age 68. It was reported that former WWE professional wrestler Lanny Poffo has passed away. He was 68 years old. Poffo, also known by his ring name, The Genius, was a professional wrestler known for tel uh, telling poems in the ring before his matches. He was the younger brother of WWE Hall of Famer Randy Macho Man Savage. He was active in the industry from the 1970s to the 1990s and was well known for his high-flying acrobats, cartwheels, and distinctive poetic reciting character he was a heel that often worked with some of the industry greats including mr perfect hulk hogan and more wrestlers are reacting to the death of mr poffo in the news hacksaw jim dug dug and tweeted with sadness i always enjoyed his work in the ring and that he had a poem for us all with a very very heavy heart i've been asked to let everyone know about the passing of our friend and colleague 
Lottie Poffo. Frankie Carzarian wrote an article. <clears throat> Sorry. Remembering his time and sharing a glimpse into what it was like to know the man. I had the fortunate honor of interviewing him for a documentary he's part of, and he was kind, courteous, and often in character. Kept me entertained even when he didn't need to be. Jimmy? Lanny was very important uh, to a lot of people, obviously. Lanny was uh, very important to us. Uh, he was a, a kind, uh, authoritative, uh, bit of an educator for us in the early days of this show. Um, I'm, I'm having a hard time even talking about it. It's, it's just too fresh. This just happened today. Uh, I'm in a state of shock because we, we, you know, I'm not going to claim to be friends with Lanny, but we were absolutely friendly with Lanny. I, I liked him. Uh, I'm shocked that he's gone. I, I thought he was in great shape. He seemed to live very healthy. I don't know what, what this is telling me. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about my own mortality, to be very honest. I mean, you know, uh, Myself being in my 50s and, and seeing Lanny uh, kick off and something tells me Lanny led a much more healthy life than myself. I, I, I don't know where I get off thinking that I'll be here tomorrow. It's getting to that point. Uh, we, we see so many wrestlers leave us. But Lanny was, Lanny was a good guy. I mean, he really was. He was, he was cool. I enjoyed my time with him. I consider uh, us, you know, pretty lucky to have... Uh, done what we've done for the last few years with the wrestlers we've met. And Lanny's <clears throat> definitely a major, to me, highlight, one way or the other. Um, I, he, wasn't he in Ecuador, for God's sakes? Didn't he go, like, down someplace really nice? He was, so like, Lanny, living pretty, Lanny, I thought he was Lanny living after good. his mother passed, um, yeah. obviously had the Pafo estate, right. which included, you know... His father, sure, and his mother, right. and Randy, yeah, Randy Poffo. He used to say, "I'm the only one left." He used to say that. So yeah. he decided pack it up. Mm -hmm. He bought a beautiful place in Ecuador. Yeah, he met a uh, a young woman. Yeah, and uh, he looked like he was living a life. In <laughs> he fact, sure did. In fact, <sighs> what I understood sure now again, just to give a little our little history with Lanny. Lanny was one of our first guests. Mm -hmm. Um we actually broke bread with him. We went out to dinner with him. Yeah. Um sure. Sure. I could personally say that I thought Lanny on our first meeting with him at dinner, mm -hmm. I I I felt he was a little odd. To be honest, <laughs> Lanny was different. I felt he was a bit odd. That's, but that's to me okay. He was he was different. Lanny was different. But okay, I'm just giving you like we never really Can you we never find odd. Well, we never we never spoke <laughs> about this because I always just kept okay. it to myself. Okay, but you um, we've known <laughs> each other for a while. One of my yeah. big things is I I evaluate people right. I, mm. I watch them. I look, mm -hmm. and the weird thing that day, Lanny was evaluating me. And I could see it. Was he? Yes. Could you feel him processing? Yes, I could. I, I can understand that. And I remember him asking me what okay. I really did for a living. And then we talked a little bit about that. Okay. And then he, you know, I can remember uh, he got a piece of cheesecake, which he really didn't want to eat because <laughs> it wasn't in his diet. Right. But if you remember what he said, when in Rome. Do as the Romans do. do. As, but, but guys, he, <laughs> right. didn't, he was like in character. Right. Like I'm looking at him, like you know, because it wasn't. We were like having a regular conversation, but then yeah. out of nowhere, he's like, "When in Rome, right?" You know, yeah, he do would, as the Romans do. Yeah, from and he had his hand up, and yeah. I'm like, "What?" He would the? throw it in from time to time. You're right. I thought that was hilarious, though. Yeah, yeah it was. Honestly. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. And uh, you know, uh, I remember we we had a really good interview with him. We were kind of right. kind of new to this thing, and. Uh -huh. It wasn't that we were nervous, but it was like it was it was very and he was very forthcoming and he was very complimentative and uh, yeah he was and then eventually came so then things started to go a little backwards because I think I might have the timeline wrong okay um everybody knows the fight with uh, Marty Janetti 
Right. When Marty and me and you got into right. it. He called. He, my, I remember I was in the bathroom he and my called. wife's like, Mike, Lanny Poffo's on the phone. He's like, what on and earth? And Lanny's was... like, yeah, what the hell's going on? Are you on? all right? Uh, what yeah. on earth was that? What the? So yeah. Lanny, yeah. Lanny came in for a second interview, mm -hmm. which was a quite a little more tight because we were a little more in ourselves. Right. and. We weren't asking bad questions, but we asked tough questions. And right. I remember Lanny not, you know, because we were throwing softballs the first, you know, like, well, what was it like to wrestle sure. Hulk Hogan? And blah, blah, blah. Sure. Now it was like we were asking real questions. Like, okay. I'll use one I know he wasn't happy with because he said it to me. All right. Was, uh, did he think that Randy wishes he would have had children? And I froze him on That's that. That's an interesting question. And if you watch that second interview, right. it was coming off of – the Randy Macho Man Savage A and E documentary, oh, okay. and he was pissed okay. about that documentary, yeah, right. and he was shredding up Jerry right. Lawler. Right, right, and right. He was fucking mad. Right. Um, I do remember. Yes. And then, but I will say this about Lanny: anytime I called him, he was always willing to help out. Yeah. When the day Kamala died, right, I said, "Could come on and talk about Kamala." Right. He said, "Absolutely, no problem." Right. And he kind of blew our minds because he wasn't. It was he supposed told, to be a tribute to Kamala, and right, he kind of the, ripped Kamala that off. Was, that was Lanny's opinion. Yeah, Dude, we didn't stop Lanny from having his no. opinion. Apparently, a few other people didn't stop Lanny from having his opinion either, because it was the right thing for them to do uh, business wise. Right, that's Hip true. Hypocrites. That's true. That's anyway, true. Never mind, folks. Those who understand. What, what, what is your school What you. is your best memory of the short time <laughs> you, you knew Pafo? Well, I will always remember when he came down and did that interview, and I, I'm sure you remember this. During the interview, and he was he was the very first one, I think, to do this. He stopped right in the middle of the interview, and, he's, and he goes, this is a good interview. Mm. Like, he really gave us props. Right. But he wasn't just doing it to do it. Right. That's what I really appreciated about that particular moment. That was Those were great comments. Made me feel like, hey, maybe maybe we are getting, uh, getting on to something here. Which I enjoyed. I loved uh, having pizza with him in the bar, man. We went and got pizza. Well, remember, we, yeah. we picked him up at the airport, I mm -hmm. think, that yeah. day. It was just right. like, you know, look, I was going to put a card up, genius. You know, like, you know, I'm the guy looking for the guy at the airport. Uh, Anybody seen the genius? If, if everybody you remembers, know? after our first interview with him, and again, we're not trying to take credit for it. It just happened to be timing. Right. Lanny Poffo hooks up with this guy. I think his name is J.P. Zarka. And mm -hmm. they, they start the genius cast right. together. Right. And dude, we're not making that shit up. Lanny was very intrigued by what we were doing. Okay, that, I, I don't want to come off like but that's the truth. I, I got though. it. I got Why it. Why is that? This not bragging. I got that's it. A, I'm very proud of that. That he was like, so, hey, you know what? Maybe I should try it. Lanny does a genius cast. So before the second interview, the yeah. genius cast had ended. He did like I don't know, twelve, fourteen yeah, episodes, but he was whatever. Like, oh, this is, this what is too what much did he work. say to us? He goes, yeah, it's too much. He work. goes, I can't do what you guys do. Yeah, it's just too he, much. You know, but I, but that's not a coincidence that he started doing it after us at all. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. People want to get mad about it. Go spank the monkey in the basement. I you guess. Know? Yeah, it is right. what it is. Or should I do a poem about it instead? John says, "LOL, you know? Jimmy." <laughs> hey, I'll tell you. On? I'll tell you another thing. Yeah. This is my favorite. This is the type of person Lanny Poffel was. So I don't know if you guys remember JJ McGuire. Um, oh, JJ became a friend of the show, and another one gone. Um, Mm. We were we were very close with JJ. JJ, JJ, and was, JJ cool. was with Jimmy Hart, and they wrote a lot of the WWE music. Yep. And he was always the secondary guy, and I always felt bad for JJ. But again, yeah, but the guy had a great career, right? He was in as a, far as the music went. That was JJ. Yeah. JJ was the was was but he, he was in the Gentries also. Yep. And, the, yep. and the guy yep. was yep. a very yep. talented guy. Yep. Jimmy, but anyway, long story short, um, I too. brought JJ in for a signing because we had a table at the big event. Lanny was and, right next to us, wasn't well, he? This is a story I want okay. to tell you. Yeah, I remember that. Go on. JJ yeah. was so, like, it was like a kid in a candy shop, right? He hadn't been around the business in right. that way with yeah. all his friends or he people so that happy. have grown. But he was so happy. He was. He was happy. Mark Henry comes in to talk to, I forget who it was. It, it might have been Atlas because Atlas was with us. Well, wait wait us. a minute. Simmons. Ron Simmons, Simmons and Butch Reed were and next Butch to us. Reed. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's so right. he came to there talk, and JJ wanted to get a picture with Mark JJ Henry. Went nuts. <laughs> and yeah, I remember Lanny like, was right he there was too. Said, no, but yeah. Lanny comes over, mm -hmm. 
and he gets JJ, right. and he says to Mark, "I see them talking." Right. He says, "Can you take a picture?" He says JJ McGuire, ba 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 ba. Right. And JJ was so, and I remember thinking to myself, like, you know what, man, Papo's an okay guy. Yeah. You know, he went out of his way, and I mean, you might think, oh, big big deal. You know what I mean? But that is a big deal. It was a big deal. He put a smile on a guy who's had been away from the business for years. He put a big smile on his face. He was so happy to be there. Poffo as he should a, not be Poffo as is, Poffo as uh, a wrestler. Enough about what we know about Poffo. Sure, Poffo as a wrestler, Farrell. Well, this is the thing that really look. There's always going to be that match with Hogan on Saturday night's main event that, that I remember him most for, and rightfully so. And Lanny was very proud of that moment. He got the main event. What is even more interesting was it was 21 months before someone had beaten Hogan in any way. Javier always says Genia Cast was 20 great episodes. Thanks, there Javier. Go. There you go. 21 months, Hogan, up, leading up to Thanksgiving of 1989, 21 months previous, Hogan had not lost in any way. No mm. disqualification losses, no catalog. But Lanny beat him, and I remember being so pissed that the genius, weren't you mad? I was mad that the genius beat Hulk Hogan. I was like, what the freak did I, I just I, say? I was in the Army Great at the bad time. guy. I Lanny was in the Poffo. Army at the time, and I remember when Poffo came back as a genius. Mm -hmm. Here was the funny thing. We asked him in the first interview about this. Right. Now, I remember Poffo, before I went to the military, when he was leaping Lanny, he was right. just like, you know, He's just he wasn't there. a small guy, but he was just like, whatever. It was just you know there. what I mean? I agree. He has that yeah. cap and gown on as a genius, and when he finally takes his gown off, I'm like, holy yeah, shit. Yeah, man. What and he tells that story when he yeah. came to the locker room. People were like, whoa, yep. dude. You yep. know what I mean? Yep, he hulked up. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> he hulked up. I got to tell you, I always loved the pairing of Mr. Perfect oh, and the genius because so there was a... Uh, so great. There was a little lightness, if you get my gist, yes. of yes, Lanny yes. and the genius. Right, right. They were magic together. Some things just work, and that eternally worked. All right, so Farrell, yeah. I, I was talking to Sunny Beach right, hey, on the Sunny way Beach. over here. Sunny Beach. Okay. UWF superstar, what also up, WWE, Sonny? WWF superstar. Yep. And we were talking about Lanny. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me, look, the life of a wrestler. Look, first of all, let's be realistic. When people turn around and like 68, that's so young. Let's, it is young. I, um, but yeah. it's young to 55-year-olds because we're coming around the corner. You know, at 68, you know, once you get in the 70s, you're kind of playing with house money, right? The average lifespan is like 74, mm -hmm. 75, yeah. okay? But my point is this. Rick was like, you, Mike, as a wrestler, your lifespan is less because the stuff your body goes through. Yeah. And I don't want to be out of line here, but I'm going to ask you this question. Oh, um, why am I scared? Go so, ahead. again, Lanny... Went to Ecuador, and if anyone was Facebook friends with him or followed him or anything else, the guy, I, I'm assuming, I'm not assuming, I'm pretty sure, he hooked up with a pretty young woman. He's smart. Well, he's a genius. Go ahead. Very good. He is. Very good. Go ahead. You're always good with those little quirks. I try. Actually, um, I don't try. They just happen. Go ahead. And I, I... And I, I was thinking this when I first saw the pictures years a year ago. What are you thinking? I'm thinking to myself, like, the dude's 68. <laughs> yeah. The girl looks like she's 25, 30, whatever she is. Congrats. Great. Mm -hmm. But listen, you can't stop the hands of time. So how do you keep the clock running? Is that what you're getting at? Right. So do you think, and oh, I'm boy. just throwing this out there, <laughs> do you think that Ugh. beyond – performance enhancing drugs Yo. there's the other performance enhancing drug okay and do you think that could because lanny no. seemed like he was in really good shape no I'm, i don't want to sit there and speculate i'm, I'm gonna right? go with no because lanny's um you're just gonna shut it down no i'm not gonna shut it down uh, i'm going to bring up the question you asked virgil regarding lanny's member yeah lanny was very healthy okay i don't believe that all of a sudden he became unhealthy Listen, I, a horse is a horse, of uh, course, yeah. of course. But there, yeah, but a horse is a horse at Until thirty. When? But once you start tripping over fifty something, the horse isn't the horse anymore. Hmm. Don't tell there, that there to is this a horse. Okay, Th there is exceptions to the rule. <laughs> There's exceptions to the rule. Yeah. Okay, but overall. <laughs> The reality of it is, Does, what they, they don't put a horse. Let me put be, this: they don't put a fourteen-year-old horse out the stud. How about that? Okay. There, there, there's reasons, right? Mm. 
Because sooner He's or later, things aren't working anymore. Interesting. Okay. So it, it's an interesting theory you have. There, well, Spock. the theory is is like I got to tell you, to handle a young person okay. can't be that easy. That's all I'm trying to say. Interesting. Now I actually, I couldn't imagine. I actually it. have to ask you this since you Go since ahead. you brought up because because you know. And I'm trying these, not to uh, speculate. These uh, these things that uh, guys take. Has there been any studies on them? To, like I have know, no idea. Oh, okay. I'm just curious about that. I have no idea. I'm just curious. I I I have no idea. Aye, aye, aye. I've never taken them. Yeah. Hmm. Have you? Uh, only before breakfast. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. We we lost we lost a. A, a great wrestler, a famous, a very famous wrestler for good reason, and um, it hurts. I, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I say 68 is too damn young. Uh, he was, he was very good to us, and I'm, I'm sure that we will both reflect on him for many years to come. I don't, I don't you know, know if everybody many believes years in the afterlife, but all I could think about when I heard this today, because it was very upsetting, mm -hmm. right? Um. Yeah. Was him crossing the gates, and there's his mom, yeah. there's his dad, and there's his brother. Oh yeah, and then his brother's dog Hercules. I just, I just thought about the family getting back together, and yeah. I, I don't know. I just like rest in peace, Lanny Poffo. Thank you for what you've done for the industry. Thank you for being a really good human being, and thank you for being so kind to. Two fans that were just trying to do a show and showing them the respect that you did. God bless you, Lanny. Dead on to it. Laverne and Shirley actor Cindy Williams dies at the age 75. Cindy Williams, who was among the most recognizable stars in America in 1970s and 80s, in her role as Shirley opposite Penny Marshall, Laverne, on the beloved sitcom Laverne and Shirley has died. She was 75. Williams died in Los Angeles Wednesday after a brief illness. Uh, thoughts on Laverne and Shirley? Oh, well, Shirley. Well, she was great. She was great. I, I, I loved Laverne and Shirley. I thought it was a great show. They were very, very funny. Now, they're all gone except for, uh, is it Lenny? Is Lenny still with us? I think, because I think Squiggy's gone. Lenny's still so, with so us. So they're all, even uh, Carmine's gone, right? Carmine is gone. Yeah, they're all gone. Except for Lenny. Very sad. Did you watch Laverne and Shirley a lot? I know oh, I every did. week. I know every I week. did. Every right. week a, watch Laverne and Shirley. It was a great show. What was Shirley's last name? <sighs> no. Hold on. What Just was Laverne's give me what... last name? DeFazio. Excellent. Your fingers the Italian. He didn't remember on. that one right away. Shirley Feeney. Nice. Bad, brother. Nice. Very nice. I always remember. Hello. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> I always that's great. I always remember uh, their first appearance on Happy Days. Oh man, they were cool. She hit Richie in the face. Right. And she goes, Let me kiss because they played a little horror. Yeah. Not horrorish, but you know, Dude. for that time was a little Happy Days? Yeah, you remember yeah, she well, was all know, over hey, Richie. Hey, Pinky Tuscadero. Oh man. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, real quick. Yeah. Leather or Pinky. Oh. Dude, this shouldn't even be a fucking fight. Yeah, but you know what the problem is, is that they both had those awesome pants. What the freak, man? What is this, leather? What the hell's going on here? Leather looked like a man. Leather did. Like, Pinky had the, the Pinky insane. was hot. Pinky was insane. Pinky was so hot. Yeah, Pinky was insane. <laughs> what, the, what, what are we doing? What? Hey! We might as well get them all out, right? Oh, my God. Holy VCR, JB Batman. says my mom loved that show. Oh, it was great. Phil it was says, great. what did Shirley drink? A temple? <laughs> Thank <laughs> so Tale of two retirements. Tom Brady retires. Yay! What's next for the Vikings? Hey! The jinx go is away! finally over. Go! Go! The go! Jets are going to be a real go! team. What? They're going to be a real team. How? Okay, Now guys. you're all positive. All you Boston fans and you Patriot fans, understand that Tom Brady is a Patriot. We all know this. Tom Brady would never have even stepped foot on the field. If it wasn't Bill for... Belichick would have been fired yeah. if it wasn't for Mo that Lewis. tragic day. Mo, Mo Lewis, Lewis destroyed Drew Bledsoe. That's right. Knocked him to freaking kingdom come. Mm -hmm. And this. And by the way, I think the Jets are winning like 30 to nothing was. at that point. Yeah. Right. And here comes this nobody. Right. Who was drafted towards the bottom of the draft. And he almost wins that game. Yes, if he you does, remember, Because he was like, I like football. Yeah. I think I might be good at this. And I remember I'm yeah. at the gym. And the yeah. next day, there's another Jet mm -hmm. fan there. We're in the yeah. basement working out. And he yeah. goes. 
you see that kid Brady? Mm-hmm. I go, yeah. Mm-hmm. He goes, that's going to be the greatest quarterback of all time. Oh, I've been following. Oh, oh. And I looked at him. I go, whatever, <clears> dude. <throat> you know, whatever. Boy, did he turn up. And big. look out. Yeah. He's done nothing but just, jinx our just, team. Oh, destroyed us. Tom Brady, destroyed you are the greatest. Us. But boy, did we hate your oh, guts. Oh, thank God you're gone. Stay gone. Please stay gone. However, I have to do this. And if my fellow Jet fans get mad, come on, man. Work with me on this one. For all you Patriot fans. Who laugh at the Jets. John says, by the way, I used to be a Tom Brady fan. God bless you, John. We there hate him. Go. There you go. For all you Patriot fans who have had a ball laughing at the Jets, this is one New Yorker. I'll speak for myself. I got two words for you living here in New York. Eli Manning. I'm good. I'm good. Even though he tortured us. All right. At least we've got those two Super Bowls that New York can say, hey. Quick, quick question. Always, always my truth is I always felt that... Boy, Belichick was, was an overrated coach, and I always felt really? that the reason he was as great as he was is because of this man that's retiring. Okay. Farrell, what do you think? The battle. Who was the more important person? Tom Brady. Of the two? Yes. Tom Brady. Absolutely. Tom Brady has what Mark Messier Charles, had. Charles, yes. Brady did have a hell of a career. Yeah, Brady has what Mark Messier had, what you know LeBron James has, the ability over Cristiano Ronaldo in soccer has, the ability to go from one team to another and win the big one. He had that ability. He was very, very special. Uh, I can't stand him. To me, Joe Montana, if I'm still picking one guy in the clutch, I'm going to probably pick Joe. Oh, by That's the way, me. JB says a Jet fan yeah. can't claim Eli. He is kind of right. I'm not claiming anything other than the fact that the freaking helmet says New York! You can't claim him. I just did. It's not right. No, it is. It's, it is right. I live in New York. I pay taxes in New York. If I want to say Eli Manning to a Patriot fan, I will. Nah. But I hear you. I do hear the you. The other retirement, mm-hmm. heavy metal rocker, Ozzy yeah. Osbourne, announces retirement from touring. The rocker Sharon appeared know? in Fort Myers twice. Yeah. Fans of the rocker, Ozzy Osbourne, were given major dose of bad news on Wednesday, at least those fans hoping to see Osbourne perform on stage again. Mm-hmm. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Osbourne, considered one of the heavy, heavy metal's greatest pioneers, announced on Twitter that due to his health challenges, he's not physically capable of performing Pharaoh. Yeah, well, I mean, I hate to say this. It's about time that Sharon stopped working on the death. I hate Sharon Osbourne. I'm sorry, Ozzy. I can't stand her. Wow, are you blaming Sharon Osbourne? Uh, well, Sharon Osbourne is basically a money machine, and Ozzy has had trouble thinking, talking, walking, and doing all sorts of shit for years now. Why do you work this guy on this schedule? What do you think this is, 350 days? What is this? You know? I mean, poor Ozzy. I mean, I, if Dude, you ever... I did not know you were going to go this route. I can't stand Sharon. I'm wow. sorry. And Bruce Dickinson agrees with me, right, Bruce? Up the irons. I can't, I can't, you know, and I respect Sharon for, for the beginnings when Ozzy was a complete mess in 1980 and she showed up over there because her father owned the record label, dropping off legal papers and saw what a mess Ozzy was. She got him, she got him back in line. She got him to, to, she did save his career. She did. She did. She did a lot of great things, but towards the end, I have found her to be nothing RJ more than. RJ says he doesn't like Sharon either, I Farrow. can't stand Sharon, man. I, uh, Sharon, to me, has become nothing more than a materialistic, mealy mouth. shut the fuck up, pain in the ass. That's how I feel Lose about the same Brady's retirement's a work. Uh, you, that, would, that would figure. Mitch that Seinfeld's would figure. joined us. Mitch, how are you? Hey, Mitch. That would figure. What's he going to play for the Jets after all the things we just said? Mitch says 350 days, LOL. <laughs> Could you imagine Brady putting on a Jets uniform? No. Right. And I don't want him to. Either. I don't want him to either. Although I have to admit, though, I mean, you can't be insane if Tom Brady wanted to play for the Jets this year. You would well, say we got no. A lot of, we got a lot of meat on this show, Fowler. Yeah, we do. Uh, in local know. news, woman arrested at pros- for prostitution in a Huntington massage parlor. Which is right down the street from Position us. Anybody I in know, response to community complaints. Oh, shit! What's no, the name I of it? Share Bear either. Massage. <laughs> in response to the community complaints, Suffolk County Police conduct operation in New York. You're going to share my knuckles in a minute. Angel, what are you talking about? Angel Spa. Oy. Angel Spa in Huntington. Were Angel you over there? Spa. No, but I saw you outside it last week. <laughs> you want to start? You want to start? All right. And oh, okay. He's like, oh, right. Uh, Yan Pang what? Wing <laughs> Wang, age 35 of Quorum, <laughs> and Ling Zai Queen. Say the name again. What, and who? Yan Pang Wang yeah. and Ling Zai Kui, both the, 35 of Flo- uh, Flushing Queens, <laughs> were uh, arrested for unauthorized practice of profession, a felony, prostitution, <laughs> and a misdemeanor. 
The town of Huntington <laughs> issued violations to do business. And it was shut down. Do you think they really should be shutting down massage parlors like this? People uh, I, need help. You know where? <laughs> Serious, dude. Like, why do you have to ruin people's time? Especially if they took that special pill. You don't take a pill. You need all the help I can get here. After all, and once you get over 50, something funny happens down below. Did you ever get a happy ending? What the fuck is that? By the way, you don't know what that is. is. Come on, is that what is a happy ending? Let me make sure I got this right. Is, is a happy ending a massage that ends with like a happy like, ending, like a fountain situation? If you want to call it a fountain, in some cases, I'm trying to keep this clean. This is your family a show. Slow stream, streaming hey, volcano. This, this, <laughs> <laughs> slow streaming volcano. You know, like it kind of just leaks out of the hole. Of the you volcano. don't have a squirt pump. You have a fucking what? What is that? Well, you, you, I'm coming. What the? <laughs> Oh, you ever see a volcano when it's kind of going to erupt? It kind of just leak leaks. Like, oh, so you, dude, like, you, there's, like too there's, much there's information. A, there's a well that like it a squirts. Well. There's a well squirt. Yeah, well squirt. Right? Or there's a hose. Or some whale. people like hoses. Yeah, but a whale is a whale is it squirt out of his whale wiener? He squirts out of the top. We're of talking his... about a flow, not the actual place it's coming from. Wow. I'm. I'm, I'm so now you know what a happy ending is. Yeah, I get, okay, fine. Would you be happy after that ending? Not if it comes out like a lava thing, like slow. I'd be like, what no, kind of... No, what I'm trying to say is you're assuming that everybody's got a, like, a, like a, a like, pocket rocket or something. Yeah! Coming. Some people don't stream well anymore. Again, wow. as you get older... The, boy, oh, the, the, the pressure in the lines aren't that strong. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. Th- Phil, gonna, you know all about that, right, I'm Phil? Gonna, oh, I'm going to thank the maker tonight when I get home that I don't have these symptoms. What is wrong with you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> so, uh, so, so where are we going to go now that they're, they've been shut down? I mean, what do we do now? I've never visited. Guys need help, you know. The, there you go. <laughs> they do need help. Now you're on board. If you didn't know, to the right oh. of me is the star of the show, Mr. Jimmy Farrow. Jared, what the hell was that a picture of? My, the camera just cut out somehow. Uh-oh. Oh, we lost the camera. Just, wait a minute, so nobody can see what we're doing? No, but can they hear us? Oh, 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 oh. If you can hear us, Jared, we're, can we're, they hear us? We're gonna keep going until the camera gets They can hear us, right, but they, they can't see us. We're gonna keep going. Oh, this is great. Hang in there, guys. Hey, you guys don't mind if I uh, you know, make myself comfortable here, do you? I would like to thank the band Just that sings. Flop the it out on the table song for Monty and Faro, our own Jimmy Farrow, along with his partner Bart Griggs. Yeah. Bart man. Wait Make a minute. up the we band Wisteria Hall. Yeah. Wisteria Hall sings such great songs as This Life, Not Far Behind, Here Comes the Rain. Dancing in the Dark? Dancing in the Dark. <laughs> you can find oh, their music on, on the Wisteria Hall <laughs> YouTube page here. I'm on Spotify, Anchor. Download their music off of Apple Music or Reverb Nation if you didn't know you were watching. Long Island's number one pro wrestler broadcast, Monty and the Faro. Where over 2 million views are seen. Uh, catch us on the Monty DeFaro YouTube page, the Monty DeFaro Facebook Live page. Hear us on iHeartRadio, Spotify, Anchor. Catch us on the Monty DeFaro Twitch TV page. Catch it, and if you're lucky enough you'll have to live in New York, catch us on Channel lucky. 115 every Tuesday at 9 p.m. or Saturday at 11.30 a.m. Or Channel 20 on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. We're over 150,000 people see us. We want to thank our sponsor, Manscaped. We're going to take a quick commercial break while Jared fixes <laughs> the camera issue. He's combing Manhattan, Spidey. He is. He's got the spider Hey, web Spidey, out. can we go to a commercial? Are you, are you good? Hey, I tell you what. We'll see you in a second. Well, maybe you'll see us. You need a body shop? You need engine repair? Auto Excellence. Collision Specialists. 631-261-6420. That's 631 631- Two six one six four two zero Auto Excellence, sir. Ah, Manscape. Uh huh. Uh, you know, have you tried the new equipment that's been sent? I'm afraid because it says weed whacker. <laughs> I'm scared. Maven Manscape. What are you thinking about Love Manscape, it. dude? You Love what it. What do you use it for? Necessity. <laughs> what don't I use it for? Put it this way: <laughs> the only hair <laughs> I have on my entire body is these eyebrows. Yeah, that oh. you see. These wow. caterpillars racing to the middle of my nose. That's it. That is it. That's all. That's all I have. And that's all I want. That's the so pit. manscaped. There's a you, must. We were talking before the show. There's nothing worse than just hair. Yeah. Right. Hair on a woman. Hair on a man. It's just bad. Absolutely. And it's the one thing that the older I get, it starts growing more in unwanted areas. Absolutely. I hate it. 
I'm going to ask you a question. Uh-oh. Just going to go out there. Oh, boy. Go for it. You're doing a deed. Yes. <laughs> Again, I don't want you to have to admit this because we, as men, we try not to admit this. But if you're going to uh, go do I a know deed he, on a woman, I know would you rather going. have her be hairless or a little hair, racing stripe, or <laughs> racing stripe. full retro bush? <laughs> racing well, stripe. Retro bush is out. Yes, thank you. Retro bush is out. Yeah. Um, I don't mind a small, well-manicured landing strip. <laughs> Every now and then, if it's completely, and I'm talking like baby's ass bald, mm. then I, I start, where is that pedophilia line yeah. that I'm, that I'm, I don't, I don't wow. want to wander into that. Oh, that's very interesting. Like that. I never thought about wow. that. You're a smart dude. Holy yeah. shit. So if the landing strip is clean enough for the plane to go in smoothly, you're cool with that. If the landing strip is, has, like I said, well manicured, yeah. you yeah. can see both sides. It's not like blinking lights on both I, sides of that. Landing? I just don't, I don't want, <laughs> you know, I don't want the shrubbery going off into yeah. unwanted areas on that. Gotcha. As well. yeah, oh, look but, what you found. Ooh. I got to be all honest gotcha. though. Hey, the, ah. <laughs> the older I get, though, I don't. I think I don't think I can be as. Uh, I as, found as, it. I found have, it. Have you ever gone down there and like just like you, she slowly brings down the underwear? Then what is retro? Just absolutely. Retro? You're like whoa. Wow. Yeah, like I'm forty-six. Like it pops out. Do you like walk out or what do you do? No, I, try, I muster through. I muster up the <laughs> courage. Get a trooper. Yeah. He's a trooper. <laughs> Gotta give him an. Yeah, not all. Not all heroes wear capes. Yeah. I, there you no, go. I, yeah, yeah. I, there you listen. Go. Can't, I couldn't. I Super couldn't bush. say. I couldn't say. Well. If you have the same beliefs as Maven does, Manscaped could help you. Absolutely. The weed whacker. Absolutely. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that I may have to, like, you know, go in a room, close the door, and hang out with the weed whacker for a little while. Yeah, I think you're a retro guy, aren't you? I like 70s adult films, if that's what you're getting at. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, with that, Ron we're going to take a quick Batman. commercial break, and anyway. we'll be back with this wrestling icon, Maven. We will see you in a drop kick second. A uh, drop kick second. And Nitro's Garage for all your automotive needs. Call 646-675-2349. That's 646-675-2349. For all your automotive needs, Nitro's Garage. Ask for Jack. Sir, ah, Manscape. Uh huh. Uh, you know, have you tried the new equipment that's been sent? I'm afraid because it says weed whacker. <laughs> I'm scared. Maven, Manscape. What are you thinking about Love Manscape, it. dude? You Love it. it. What do you use it for? Necessity. What? What don't I use it for? Put it this way: <laughs> the only hair what? I have on my entire body is these eyebrows. Yeah. That oh. you see. These wow. caterpillars racing to the middle of my nose. That's it. <laughs> that is it. That's all. That's all I have, and that's all I want. That's the so pick. manscaped there's a must. We were talking before the show. There's nothing worse than just hair. Yeah. Right? Hair on a woman, hair on a man. It's just bad. Absolutely. And it's the one thing that the older I get, it starts growing more in unwanted areas. Absolutely. I hate it. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh-oh. Just going to go out there. Oh, boy. Go for it. You're doing a deed. Yes. <laughs> Again, I don't want you to have to admit this because we... As men, we try not to admit this, but if you're going to go do a deed on a woman, would you rather have her be hairless or a little hair, racing stripe, or (laughs) a full retro bush? (laughs) Racing stripe. Retro bush is out. Yes, thank you. Retro bush is out. Yeah. Um, I don't mind a small, well-manicured landing strip. (laughs) Every now and then, if it's completely, and I'm talking like baby's ass bald, Mm. Then I I start. Where is that pedophilia line yeah. that I'm that I'm I don't, I don't wow. want to wander into that. That's very interesting. Like that. I never thought about wow. that. You're a smart dude. Holy yeah. shit. So if the landing strip is clean enough for the plane to go in smoothly, you're cool with that. If the landing strip is has like I said, well manicured, yeah. you yeah. can see both sides. It's not like blinking lights on both sides I, of that. Landing? I just don't. I don't want. <laughs> you know, I don't want the shrubbery going off into yeah. unwanted areas on that. Gotcha. As well. 
Oh, yeah, look but, what you found. Ooh. I got to be all gotcha. honest, though. Hey, the, ah. the, the older I get, though, I don't, I think, I don't think I can be as... Uh, <laughs> I, I found it! Have, I found have it! Have you ever gone down there and, like, just, like, you, she slowly brings down the underwear, then... What is... Retro. Just, Absolutely. You're retro. like, whoa! Wow! Like, yeah, I'm 46, like it pops out? Do you, like, walk out, or what do you do? No, I, try, I muster through. I muster up the courage to get through. He's a trooper! Yeah. He's a trooper! <laughs> Gotta give him an yeah, not all Not all heroes wear capes. Yeah, I, there you no, go. I hear you. Uh, <laughs> there you listen, go. I couldn't... I couldn't Super say... Bush. I couldn't say... Well... <laughs> If you have the same beliefs as Maven does, Manscaped could help you. Absolutely. The weed whacker. Absolutely. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that I may have to, like, you know, go in a room, close the door, and hang out with the weed whacker for a little while. Yeah, I think you're a retro guy, aren't you? I like 70s adult films, if that's what you're getting at. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, with that, Ron we're going to sure take a quick Batman. commercial break, and we'll be back with this wrestling icon, Maven. We will see you in a drop kick second. Uh -oh. Drop kick. All right, welcome back to Long Island's number one pro wrestler broadcast, Monty DeFaro, only seen here out of Indie Music TV. Uh, guys, we're still trying to work on the camera, so hang in there. You got a little bit of audio. We're going to continue on with the show. Uh, <laughs> RJ says Monty might want to help him with your next sponsor, Chili Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. People like the sleeping guy. People don't like the sleeping guy. What's your opinion on the sleeping guy? Uh, is Negan taking a nap from The Walking Dead? That dude? Yeah. It's amazing how he's become so popular. I mean, maybe we should get. Maybe we should interview him. Except he might fall asleep during the interview. <laughs> he might fall asleep. It might be rough. All right, Farrow. In sports news, New York Rangers immeasurably set back LGBT community oh, in NHL with pride jersey refusal. Mm. New York Rangers chose not to have their players wear a rainbow jersey for their team design to welcome LGBT hockey fans to Madison Square Garden for the team's game on January 27th. The club announced that the players would wear LGBT pride-inspired rainbow jersey for the team's warm-up against the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Instead, the team abandoned the rainbow. Uh, so uh, you can play the nonprofit pushing for more LGBT inclusion in sports and has its foundation in hockey, said they wish some players wore the rainbow, rainbow logo, yada, yada, yada. Farrow. Like good the yada, the, yada, good, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, right? I like the I like the I like the yada, just can't yada. keep repeating. Um, it, you know, you know. Uh, don't forget, folks. This is my opinion. Good for the New York Rangers. Uh, this is a personal choice. Let me just spell it out for those who don't seem to understand uh, what real fairness is. This is a personal choice. Uh, if if you choose not to back this, that's your choice. I don't think anybody should be forced to have to wear something supporting something. By that the they way, don't Phil says in. great for the Rangers. Keep going. Yeah, and it, you're forcing somebody else to to uh, you know support what they don't believe in. If you don't believe in it, why would you support it? Period. You know, and if you're offended, that's your problem. You know, I really don't. And since when do sexual preferences have to have to cross over into here? Wear this jersey. Go out there and stop it. Just stop it. Do your thing. Do your thing. Enjoy. Enjoy. It's very pushy to me. Okay? I find it very pushy. And I'm, I'm proud of the New York Rangers for some of them going, no. I don't back this. Why? Is there something wrong with me now because I don't back this? No, there's nothing wrong with you. This is your opinion. Quit being so damn pushy. You know? My, my opinion is Do this. your own thing. My Good opinion is this. The players have a right to do what they want. Right. Um, you you can't. This is my problem with society. Don't yeah. speak with forked tongue. Yeah. Don't support a player who kneels for the national anthem. Right. But then get angered at a fact when a player says he or she doesn't want to wear a rainbow colored jersey. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. There's morality. We're going to get a little deeper into this, okay, right? Go All right. That's fine. There's morality, and then there's something else. But first, I thought this was an interesting video. Mm. I want to play a clip. Okay. And then I want you to respond to it, and let's get a little deeper into this conversation. Sure. Now, what's the second version? Boys are boys from the beginning. Girls are girls right from the start. So that's the great no, Mr. The way, Rogers. Yeah, you're going to sit here and argue with Mr. Rogers? I'm not going to do that. But his point was... 
He had a song. Mm-hmm. And he, years ago, mm-hmm. identified there would be a problem in this country where people – and I'm not saying they don't have a right to say they a man saying he wants to be a woman, a woman saying she wants to be a man. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Who am I to judge? But clearly, Mr. Rogers – Right, and the, and the video is a lot deeper. You can catch it. You just look up the clip. Mm-hmm. He basically goes into the fact that, as a child, without the proper training mm-hmm. or the po- the mentoring, mm-hmm. there's a lot of confusion. And he was seeing it back then. Yeah, because a man thought maybe he's a girl, and a girl thought maybe he's a man, because that's what they think they know. Mm-hmm. So, let's go back. The reason I brought that up is we're talking about this whole sexual or sex changing or a thought process Mm -hmm. there's two different lines here we've got the line of morality and we got the line of um fellow human being i'm trying to explain it the right way far i was saying we were speaking like this is an easy subject no i know what what i'm trying to say to you is if i was a, a leader of a country or the president You can't. Ch- you you have to stick by the people, even though you might believe in something completely different. Okay. Right. Okay. And if this is that the world is changing, you have to go with it. Doesn't mean you have to believe in it. Doesn't right. mean you have to follow that rule. Right. Um, Who says the world is changing? How about them apples? Who says the world is changing? The only thing that's changed is, is shoving your damn agendas down people's throats. That's what's changed. You know, do I have to swallow it? Nope. I don't have to. I got my own opinions. RJ, I don't care what RJ your opinions says, are. Keep your opinions. I'll keep mine. How's that sound? Mr. Rod, uh, RJ says Mr. Rogers was spot on. Phil says I'm proud to have Mr. Rogers' t shirt. Mr. Rogers was great. I learned more from Mr. Rogers than I did my entire years in school. Mr. Rogers was a so great, I'm gonna great ch- educator. So I'm going to challenge you this on Great Farrell. man, too. I want to challenge you this, Farrell. Yeah. So you're, you're gung-ho. You're happy that the Rangers did this. You believe in it. How come you weren't so gung ho when people were kneeling at the national anthem? What are you talking about? That made me want to vomit. That's when what I'm saying. When people were kneeling at the national no, anthem, no. They made, me, made me want to puke. You, you misunderstand what I'm trying what to you, say what to you. What do you mean? You're, you're supporting the Rangers' freedom of choice, but you didn't support the other athletes. And I'm just challenging them. Okay, this. so basically, we're going to take sexual preference and loyalty to your country, and we're going to put them as the same. That's where we're at. Don't make me. Barf live on TV. So you see the difference, Mike? See the difference? That's why I asked the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When life and death is the is the deal, when when our great great grandparents came to this country and fought and bled and died on hills in Europe, that's the same thing as a sexual preference. Hell no, son. What? Hell no. It's, it's not the same thing. And we are turning every last agenda into the be-all, end-all. My agenda is the be-all, end-all. And if you don't agree with me, you are evil and you are bad and I cast you out. Be gone, Satan. What is this insanity? This happens all the time. What is this insanity? How about live and let fucking live? Is it that hard? Is it that hard? You know when you don't let live and let live? When you notice some dude in Germany is roasting people by the millions, that's when you don't live and let live. You do something. Your sexual preference. You think I give a shit what you do with what's, what's between your legs? I don't give a shit. Do it. Do whatever makes you happy. I don't care. Just leave me the fuck alone. You know what's weird? I got my own feelings. I got my own morals. In this Mr. Rogers video. I don't crash your backyard. In this Mr. Rogers video, the audience at the Tonight Show starts laughing at him. Because I don't think they... Well, because it made too much sense. No, I don't think... Or was it nervous laughter? No, I don't think at that time they they deemed this to be a problem, the audience. They were just like, what is this guy, crazy guy talking about? Right. And clearly this guy knew what was going to happen without the proper parenting. Sure. Now... Now, people are going to turn around and go, how what do you dare mean, proper, you? Proper what are you going to say? How dare What's you? Proper parenting? You're saying this. People feel this way. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> I do personally believe that there's confusion. There is confusion with people. Confusion. No connections. Wire severed.
that kind of confusion. But on the other hand, let me play the other side of it. Yeah. Neither you or I. Yeah. Neither you or I. Yeah. Um. Have had those types of feelings. No, but that's so doesn't... we don't we don't identify with it. So right. it's easy for us to not identify with it or but that doesn't make us evil people i'm not saying that but that's my beef with all of this right don't you see that just because though some of the ranger guys didn't want to support this you know how they're going to paint well them. no that that's they're that far, that's a legitimate they're, problem they're probably mega why don't we just go for broke well that's what i mean you know the, what i mean the, 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 just the, lump the, the whole thing together the community and the papers sick. were turning on the rangers right. but they weren't turning on the other folk who right. decided to kneel. Right. Right. In other words, the moral to this story seems to be that you can't insult someone's sexual preference, but if you want to take a leak on our heroes of the military, yeah, go for it. Don't you see why I'm so angry? Mm. I mean, you see it, right? I mean, what the... F- All right, let's talk a little wrestling. Wow. CM Punk make uh, Sorry. Seth Rollins makes his thoughts clear about CM Punk. Uh-huh. He says, oh, Philly Phil, stay away, stay away, you cancer. Let me uh let me show you a quick clip, Farrow, and then I want you to uh, what? I want you to, to <laughs> stay away. To you talk what? about it. Yeah. Okay. Hit it, Spidey. Stay away. Stay away. You cancer. Get away from me forever. <laughs> work, work, <laughs> work, or shoot. Oh, someone's coming to the WWE. So you're saying work? Well, isn't that lovely? Don't you think so? Wow. Why? Why would he say that? Just because he felt like it? Well, he was asked a question. Because there's a lot of free agents out there, mm-hmm. and he he named he named FTR right, and uh, right. there's a video he talks about FTR. Can you play that real quick? FTR. Wow. Yeah. No, I don't like Phil. I don't like Phil. He's a jerk. Oh, do- <laughs> he's talking about Phil. I'm sorry. I didn't give you the flip on FTR. So he basically Wait, said, "Hey, the FTR's good hands. I'd love to have him. Sure, them. sure, yeah. Um, but when he was mentioned about Phil." As much as I hate him too, he right. Seth hates him. And let right. me give, let me tell you something about Seth Rollins. That guy bleeds WWE. Oh yeah, I freaking love him. Why wouldn't that. he? Why wouldn't he? Booker T on Seth Rollins calling CM Punk a cancer. I'm just glad I didn't have to say it. He was shooting 100. percent I'm just glad I didn't have to say it. I'm just glad people can't look at me now and be like I'm a hater. I keep my mouth shut because my mama always told me. You ain't got nothing good to say. Don't say it at all. So obviously Booker T doesn't like yeah, him Yeah, but, but Mama didn't tell Booker T, don't show your knobby bow legs when you're going to the Royal Rumble. Wear long pants. Oh, very good. So I've Boy, always tried to put so myself good. in a position, but, I, but you hear other guys that have been around the business that feel and speak the same way about Phil Brooks, <laughs> and it's because of being around him. You know, nothing personal, nothing to make it out to be something that it's not or anything like that. But when you're around people, you kind of like get a feel, Jesus Christ, this guy's hacking me to death here, Mm. of what they're about. Hmm. So, CM Punk. What about him? You still think this is a a work? I'm curious why. Don't you think that there'd be a no talking about CM Punk at all? Why? Well, why would you talk about him? They, you know the, what? The, Vince is clearly the, gone. The, the anna- Vince wouldn't let anybody the, mention this guy's name, I'm sure. The interviewer said, there's free agents out there. Right. He said maybe the biggest, if they talked about FDR, right. maybe the biggest mm-hmm. is Phil Brooks. Yeah, well, this is what I think about Phil Brooks. The same thing you think about Phil Brooks when it comes to the bottom line. We both said before the Royal Rumble, well, if it can't be The Rock, I'll take CM Punk. So, at the end of the day... CM Punk is still a goddamn draw one way or the other. And if he came back to the WWE, we'd probably go batshit. Yeah, you as a fan goes batshit. Yeah, I don't You're care. talking about the locker room. Yeah, it's but funny. I don't care about the locker room. I'm not in the locker don't room. Don't you want your, your, your beloved Seth Rollins to be happy with the organization he works for? I don't care. I don't care. Do you think Seth Rollins worries about whether or not the Pharaoh <laughs> is happy at his job? Fuck you, Seth Rollins. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. You would like to see a healthy locker room, of course, in premise. But you know what? When was there ever a hell? Well, I hate you, Hulk Hogan. For real. Okay? It's always been going on. It's been going on and will always go on. There's always going to be this guy hates this guy or this girl hates that girl. You're always going to have it. CM Punk is still a sexy ass draw, which especially became WWE. You know it and I know it. That's why after The Rock, you were willing, over Stone Cold, by the way, you were willing 
to have CM Punk come into the Royal Rumble. Why? Because he's a polarizing prick. The end. So speaking about the WWE, they find themselves in a oh, bit of an issue, that. right? They clear <laughs> that they were setting up Cody Rhodes to become the next universal or the unified champion. Yeah. But organically, as mm-hmm. everybody probably knows at this point, yeah. Sami Zayn has taken over. Uh, the whole bloodline angle, uh-huh. the love for Sami. Yeah. Um, this is not Daniel Bryan from 2014. It's not. It's It's better. It's better. It's not. It's not more feverish than yes, yes, yes. T-shirts selling by the Cabillions. It's doing. It's amazing. It's at the top right now. But let's keep things in check. This 2. is not yes. The yes million movement. Million viewers. I understand Smackdown. that. It's still not the yes movement. Calm down. Oh, I, as far I, as his individuality, as far as the storyline, it's one of the greatest storylines ever, if not the greatest storyline ever. But as far as his individuality, he's very hot right now. He's not Daniel Bryan hot from 2014 when he beat Batista and Triple H. Everybody calm down. Other proof in this is, is that when Cody came out Monday night, was he booed? No, he was not. Well, hold was on. he embraced? Hold yes, on. he was. No, no, no. Hold he was embraced. Okay, if they were insisting the way they did all those years ago, that they would have booed Cody from the moment he came out there, and they would have started Sammy Chance. That didn't happen. This is not Daniel Bryan. He's still way over. I'm sure the fans would love it if he got a title shot. You had a great idea, didn't you? Didn't you say that he'll probably get a title shot before WrestleMania anyway? No, he is. But so the WWE is smart. They're trying to right the ship. They threw Cody out there on purpose. But, mm-hmm. guys, Pharaoh. Yeah. Tomorrow night's Friday. Yeah. That whole Cody thing you're talking about. is not on Well, Friday. it seems, re- you're not listening. Okay. You might seem like, wow, they put Cody and they loved him. They embraced him. Mm-hmm. Give the fans Friday night to embrace Sami Zayn and tell right. me in next Thursday if you, well, when I see you Saturday when. You mean to tell me that the fans at Raw were like, well, we're Raw fans. So no. we're going to call. No. So what are you saying? No. If the fans were already no. pissed, they would have been pissed the next day at Raw. No, I'm not saying they're pissed. The problem is, is there's fans that love Cody. Yeah. And there's fans that love Sami Zayn. Mm-hmm. If you're the WWE, you don't want that. Here's the thing that I'm not sure that you may realize. Those fans that love Cody, those fans that love Sami Zayn, they're the same fans. They root for both. I'm telling you. They're not like, I'm strictly a Cody Rhodes fan. No, it doesn't but, work but, that way. But the problem, Sammy might be with bad guys. Sammy's not a bad guy. Sammy's a good guy with the bad guys. But you're, you're, <laughs> At least you're, that's you're, how I see it. If, if at know? any point Sammy crosses with mm-hmm. Cody in right. some sort of way, right? It, sometimes it's impossible oh, to stop it from play, happening. Cody should play the heel in that case. No, that what case. I'm trying to say yeah. is then you don't want the fans to choose between them. Right. And that's what I'm trying to say was where the WWE okay. has a problem. Now, you keep them separated. Yeah. Like I said, they're that's doing they're a smart doing. move. That's what they're, they're putting Zami against Roman, right? Right, right. <laughs> and it's also SmackDown Raw. It's like they're, they're keeping them apart. B40 says The Rock coming back would have made the best storyline ever. The Mega Powers year-long build would have been still the greatest. Mm. I think The Rock would have came back. As much as I love the Mega Powers, you know that. Oh, yeah. This would have been better. I'm sorry. I got to say. The Mega Powers? Yeah. Jason wants to know, do you think Cody Ooh. will take the title from Reigns? Yes, I do. I know you don't want that to happen. I think. I, I agree with Farrow. He is. But I, I think, think the WWE will. I think it will be a failed experiment. I mean, we were discussing Reigns. Mm-hmm. Reigns is running out of opponents, right? Mm-hmm. He's running out of faces to face. Mm-hmm. Sooner or later, you'd have to put him against Gunther mm-hmm. and some other guys to right. keep it fresh. Carrying Cross. So the better way to go here, give, and again, we, maybe Roman wants to break anyway. I think he needs one. Right. I think that that's going to be you, the biggest reason you can of get, they take the You can get some him. mileage out of Seth Rollins against Cody you, again for you four could. months. Sure, you could. Gunther. Yeah. Gunther. You, you, you could. Carrion Cross. Nah, he's been. Lo- he lost to you last week. What are you talking? <laughs> he's on a. He's on a. He's on a bad run. Carrion Cross. Something's going on over there. I don't know what's happening over there. You know what I do think, though. I do think that Cody could be potentially the best face champion in years. I can see that. So we're just going to have to wait and see. The scary thing for the WWE is Cody's going to have, have a lot of pressure on him. He is, a but lot he can of pressure handle it. The guy has done some, so much shit. If you had told me in 2015 that th- he would be here now and had done all that stuff in between, 
This this is a very impressive you've, guy. You've had a lot of Cody Rhodeses, right? You've had Shawn Michaels who couldn't draw flies as a champion. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You've I had gotcha. you've had those guys. Which is guys. weird though, because you know Shawn Michaels should have been dra- dra- you know drawing Cabillion. but wrestling kind of sucked when he was champion, didn't it? It got better as he. Gave up the belt to Stone Cold, but like 95, 96, those weren't exactly. It's funny. Sean could be you know, considered. The diesel into. Sean could be considered the greatest wrestler of all time, but right. he certainly can't be considered as a great draw. No, which is weird. That's so strange. It is strange. It is strange. I mean, he's no Hogan. He's not even close. No, he's, he's no. no Rock. He's not even close. Dude, he may he's not no even Stone. be Goldberg. No, no way. That's he's not Goldberg. Up, as far as draw goes, you got to give Goldberg his props, dude. Goldberg was a huge draw. He was a huge draw. He was. I mean, let's be 100% honest. Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, I don't think they were draws, dude. I think they were with the NWO. But if because you take of the Hogan, whole, right. who knows? No right. Hogan. You take Hogan out, that's then right. what do you who got? Knows? Exactly. Right. Yeah, who knows? Exactly. Who that's knows? That's some good commentary that's interesting. right there. That's it. It's, it's, so, it's again, to I do about. I think I think Reigns is going to lose his title. Yeah. Um, but, you know. He's got to lose eventually. Uh, so, since, since the beatdown on Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn has a new shirt that came out. Oh, he does? Yeah. It What's says, that say? It says Sami Uso, and it's crossed out, and With it has Zayn. Zayn on it. How great was that it's chair pretty good shot? pretty shirt. How great was the chair shot? Chair shot was great. I was just like, oh, my God. Chair shot was I great. I thought you would have been mad because, he, you know, Roman's your boy. All and right, dude. We're almost out of time. We're going to do a quick head-to-head. We haven't done that in a while. I, I don't like this, by the way. I you know you don't. You didn't give me a heads up, and I hate this one. I don't like it at all. Why do you hate it? Because I don't like it. Okay. You always pick my, some of my favorite guys. You never pick your own. <laughs> and it's bullshit. I think for the next four... I love the New the Day. Next four the New times, Day against Demolition. I love the, the next New Day. The next four times, we're going to put Morocco against Flair. We're going to put Morocco against uh, Dude, anybody. Morocco is so low on my list now. Well, that's only because you're mad at him. Growing up, you would have licked his Hawaiian feet. All right, so this head to head... And his surfboard. This head to head... <laughs> this head to head is New Day against Demolition. I don't remember Can you the explain ca- the rules? No, because you, because you never give me a chance. You didn't even tell me which... All right, category number one. Uh, Spidey, put up photos. Help me out here. There you go. Uh, category number one is uh, Mike Skills, you know? All right, so stop there. Yeah. Mike Skills. New yeah. Day... Demolition. Oh, we're doing this now? Yeah. This sucks. What is this? Expediting fucking head to head? Well, we had a camera breakdown. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Yeah, Mike Skills. That's no contest. New Day. What? Not Demolition? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> we're going to break your neck. That was awesome. Do that again. Stop it. I hate this. You know, I don't like head to head anymore. <laughs> I want to do a diff- I want to do a Category thing. number two, Spidey. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Throw up category number two to my favorite team of all time. It's probably going to lose. Matt Skills. Yeah, that goes to New Day. You what do you suck. mean? It doesn't go to I demolition? You. You, Here comes the axe. You. Here comes the smash. This is the greatest wrestling hold ever. Watch this, folks. <laughs> Don't knock out the cameras. Oh, yeah, that's true. Spidey, how we doing? Can he still see me? That's unfortunate All right, for so them. we're both agreeing. Anyway. 2-0. New yeah, day. Yeah, this sucks. I this hate you. This could be a sweep. You, you suck. Sweep. Category number three. Yeah, it what factor. is it? It factor. Demolition. Oh, come on. Don't tell me those three guys dressed in pajamas have more it factor than the greatest thing since Kiss. Get the hell out of here. Not touching that at all. Heavy metal rock gods. Put up that picture, Spidey. Look at these guys. What, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? In fact, you're going to give it to the guys in pajamas and and a megaphone. Get the hell out of here. I'm going to go with you on this one. You better. 2-1 New You did this. You better. 2-1 New Day. Now I'm going to get By the way, Bane says Cody will win the title, but he won't have it for long. I I agree with that. He had a lot of injuries. Zanes is a great wrestler. I I agree. I agree with all those things. Oh, my God. Well said. Maria loves your comment, licking feet. (laughs) All right, category number (laughs) four, back of the baseball card. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, back of the baseball card. See, this is where I get in trouble. (laughs) Oh, don't. This is where I get in trouble. Because here's the story, okay? New day. Yeah. Well, I say ba, and I'll tell you why I say ba. ba. Yeah. Who you allow? Because for <laughs> I am now. What else would you like me to do? I go ahead, pig. Go I'm like the farmer go says, you know, you wait. A mess says demolition all the way. Yeah. Come on. All right. Here we go. Back in a baseball card. This is why. Uh, you know what? I'll just say it. For over 30 years, that record stood. Demolition's longest reigning tag team champ for decades, decades and decades and decades. And who took it? In an age where you better be the shit if you're going to hold the title for that long. Okay, let's fast forward to it. In an age where they the, pass the belt, the back of the where they pass the belt around like a IHOP oh, breakfast plate. 
It took less than well, how long did it take? The Usos are now the all time greatest tag team champions. You were scratching. And I'll tell you what that means. That means that Davio, what's up? Demolition had the more impressive reign. Period. I don't care about the seventeen times New Day's held it because we beat them lo- last week, they, and they held it longer than I don't give a demolition. shit. I don't give a shit. All right, so not gonna be you got two to two. demolition. I got three one. New yeah, I know you do. You already have them winning. Category number. <laughs> Because you suck. I was angry. I'm pissed. You didn't even tell me about this. You do this it all the time. It was on a script. You didn't Who's, your favorite? Who's your favorite wrestler? Roman Reigns is going to go head to head with Hulk Hogan next week. Ooh, it's close. Oh, oh yeah. It's real close. close. It's going to be real close, Number brother. five. Real close, Number brother. Number five, overall. Overall impact on the industry. Well, that's easy. That's demolition. Oh, because my God. For, for decades, people. What? People have been trying to be the bruisers that demolition and the road warriors were. Everybody copies them. Everybody oh, copies man. them. I mean, no matter who it is, they all copy them. And the winner of head to head, because the Pharaoh said so, three to two. Wow. Is demolition. Wow. Uh, Bane says New Day. Yeah, he's probably right. <laughs> uh, all right. JB, I, JB says. He can't stand New Day, and he's yeah. saying, he say, you know, look, All right, am I Demolition being... is one of my favorite tag teams. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. stand the New Day, yeah, but yeah. by these rules, <laughs> there's no way. It's, it's almost a clean sweep. They're better on the mic, and they're, and they're better on the mat. And the back of the baseball no, card. Not, Dude, not they broke their record. It doesn't matter. Not when that record lasted for 30-plus years. It doesn't matter. Because their record got broken within a year. It doesn't effing matter. If that record had stood... And the Usos had not passed it so fast, I would have had more credence for it. Now it's just a day and age where, who, what, the next team that comes in is going to pass the Usos? That's what we're doing now? What are we doing? That record stood for 30-something years. Demolition never had a cereal. You know, and I'll tell you what. They never had a cereal. And I'll tell you what, and if it ever... You won't acknowledge that they didn't have a cereal. A cereal. Yeah, Bootios. What was Demolition cereal going to be? Let's see it, because they weren't relevant enough. They They wouldn't have suited them. Little kids, well, I want my demolition cereal. No, little kids who like demolition wanted to hit people with chairs. They didn't want cereal. Don't you see how lame New Day is? Pajamas, megaphones, cereal, bootios, bootios. You are voting for bootios over demolition? Sarah, I, Man, I, I am used, old I school used to embarrassed. Believe, I used, old I used school to be, embarrassed. I used to le- believe in the Pharaoh. What? But he has I finally proven. showed a little biasness? <laughs> finally? A little bias. Finally? This you mean was, after all this time, this is, I finally this is, showed this some This is biasness. a major show of bias. bias. This, is, this is Pharaoh fighting back. What is this shit? New Day versus demolition. I tell you what, next week we've I got. I set you up. And I knocked I, I, out. Quite honestly, I think I knocked it out of the park. You, you did. You did me, great. You might have set me up. But again, what? you're lying. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, I caught you eating bootios this morning. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. With strawberry milk. All right, guys. Why strawberry milk? Thank you guys for joining <laughs> us. I hope you enjoyed tonight's conversation. We love having you guys around. Uh, please join us tomorrow night for This Week in Pro Wrestling. And then Saturday, where we have yeah, um, yeah, yeah. we have yeah, Chris yeah. Masters. Chris Adonis yeah. Yeah, yeah. in studio. Uh-huh. And then after that, we've got the bad girl star, yep. star Jada Chachili. Yep. What, do you, what do you got a bad uh, bottle for? Saturday. I have to figure and out a way to get way, out of this damn thing. The Master Lock Challenge, I want to thank no, Phil for no. donating. Oh, thanks a lot, Phil. Uh, my Chris pal. Lee for donating. Oh, Chris. Other people. Wah, wah, Every, thank all, you. all your donations will go to oh, St. Jude oh. Hospital. It means Farrell, so much. Listen. What? If, if you're on stage yeah. and he's hurting you, yeah. do this. Make sure I don't no, ask you for no. help. Go like this. What? Go like this. New day. That's going to get me out of it. I right? will help you. If that will be your signal that you need help. New day. You go, new day. Oh, like they do. The new day. And I'll like be like that. right over there. How about if I just go, somebody get this fucking guy off me. This hurts. <laughs> that won't do it, huh? No. That won't do it. That's interesting. All right, very well. Anyway, it looks like I'm going to need this bottle. You've been watching Monty and the Pharaoh, and we will see you on Saturday, and I will be seeing my doctor on Saturday evening. Later.